What is up guys, it's Mike, it's Mim here, welcome to my YouTube channel, and most of all, welcome to my Gothic 3 playthrough, for the playthrough of the Hushishin Dark Mage, Sotvin the Beliard, the God of Death, Chaos, and everything unnatural, and welcome to the episode of the arenas. All arenas, those that I can still do that is, because uh, Ishtar has been completed, some fights in Moratsu have been completed, but uh, let's just start with Bakaesh. And his dominion will Fine. Come. Now let me and fight that Ahmed, the one of all blades. Trades. His Ahmed of all. Ah, forget it. You paid, so you can fight. Beliar knows no mercy. There is no pity for the weak, only pain and death. But those among you who do good business must pay their tribute. Show me. Oops. One too many. That nah, doesn't really matter. No need to redo the whole you know, episode. But should have quick saved though. His dominion will come, and then those who have drawn his wrath shall tremble. So pay with your gold, and you shall pay with your Show me what you can do. <laughs> What have you done to Ahmed? The man's completely worn out. Isn't that why I fought him? Well, yes, you've got a point. Fine. Now bring on this savage fellow and then I'll be champion, right? Whoa, 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 there, whoa, I never said that. What? Are you toying with me? No, no, no of course not. Father of swift combat. But you still need to go up against the Temple Fighters. Special order from Tizga. Only if you can hold your own against the Temple Fighters will you be named champion of Bakaresh. Why didn't you tell me this before? Hey, you didn't ask. But it will bring you glory and honor. And hopefully some gold, too. We use our power to keep his wrath from... Send in Mufasa, then. Ah. A great sound for a great fight. Hey, please slow down a little this time. Get it? The audience expects to see something for their money. Wealth for us, dominion for Beliard, and his dominion will come. And then those who have drawn his wrath shall tremble. So pay with your gold, else you shall pay with your blood. Sitting 
can't be. <coughs> No, the hard part is the Templars. Oh, I hate those fuckers. Right here in the arena of Bakarij, the impossible became reality. Mufasa the Savage has been defeated. Here stands the victor. And he has come to get his gold. But of course, vanquisher of Mufasa. I told you I would make you rich. Right. Now what about the temple fighters? Those aren't just any old fighters. Oh no. One of them was the gatekeeper of Ishtar. And the other used to hunt nomads all over the desert. Both have earned this job in Bakarish And struck down more opponents than all barbarians combined. Never mind. You know what I want. Bring on the temple fighters. So be it. Let the fight for the crown begin. Eternal fame for the winner. A mouthful of sand for the loser. Good luck, fighter. I'm curious to see how long you last. We are the chosen people. Wealth for us. Dominion for Belial. And his dominion will come. And then those who have drawn his wrath shall tremble. You're as Stop. Stop right there, you dog. I don't want to cheat, but uh, I do want to win, and I don't care how I win. But I have to be careful when it comes to the magic capabilities because I could kill them. I only use it so I can, you know, knock them down. Versus two of them is pretty damn hard. I can summon a skeleton, but you know the others will then intervene as well. So that's not gonna work. Also, I'm a servant of Beliar, you know. Rules. He doesn't give a shit about rules. Good as defeat. <laughs> Stop right there, you dog. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's risky when they're that low to use 
regular projectiles because if they try to f move in front of it, it's death. I also want to prevent myself from heating at all, you know, preferably. But uh, honestly, I don't care how I get it done as long as I get it done. <laughs> You're as good as defeated. Stop right there, you dog. to pay for your failure. Did the other guys intervene too? Because it's not, you know, not the uh, intention to get the ones above there to be uh, triggered in any way because of the fact I'm using magic. I doubt it though, you know. But I certainly get my ass whooped. And the annoying thing is, you know, even though I pressed only one time, it sometimes just try to charge attack, which is very, very annoying when I'm trying to do, you know, slow attacks, straight ahead attacks, if you will, just kite. It's all about the kiting. Good as defeated. <laughs> Stop right there, you dog. That guy have to be careful. God damn it! You know, once they hit you, you're fucked. Because they will do that combo and combo and combo just over and over and over again. I tried to press tap, you know, in order to heal, but I failed miserably. Well, I did press tap, but I was too late. But it's a tough fight, you know, I can make it a lot easier by summoning a skeleton Just to keep one of them busy But then all the others up there will intervene as well You're as good as defeat ah! 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 Don't you 
dare let him beat you! Stop right there, you dog! Stop right there, you dog! I hate doing this, but fuck it. It's hard to get them across. Afraid of that happening. God damn it. I was like myself, you know, what if that one hit kills him? And it surely did. Stop right there, you dog. <laughs> I need that fuck over there. <coughs> See those combos, man. It's insane. Once you're stuck in that grab, you're 9 out of 10 fucked. <coughs> And of course I target. Oh. You know, versus two of them is really, really tricky to do it, uh, you know, two versus one. Now if you play the game on normal, you know, it's shouts play, but if you play it on hard, everything enabled, it's pretty damn difficult. For me personally, it always is, no matter how much strength I have. You're as good as. Stop right there, you dog. <laughs> That was the weaker one. Ah. Their HPs and defense is also different, which makes it relatively hard. So I'm gonna try to count, you know, how many should I basically need before it's getting into the risky zone. You're a 
as good as the first. <laughs> Stop right there, you dog. Stop right there, you dog. Now I'm cornered in like a rat by two. And this thing gonna end well, probably. But in my opinion, this arena in particular is the hardest arena fight in, you know, this battle in particular is the hardest fight in, in the entire career of the arena. Whether you, you use magic or not, whether you play on easy, normal or hard or not, you know, this one is always a bit on the trickiest side. Well, on easy, nothing is really tricky on normal, same, you know. On hard it is. You're as good as defeated. No! Stop right there, you dog. Stop right there, you dog. gonna lose again no no I don't care what it takes <coughs> Even though I use, you know, magic and what have you, it's still damn, damn hard battle. But that combos is just wow. My belly out of my head. I'm at a loss for words, oh champion of Bokarish. Now that's a nice change of name. You are truly a great gladiator. Glory and honor to the new champion. Right, so let's go to Morasu. There is no pity for the weak, only pain and death. But those among you who do good business must pay their tribute. For what use is your gold in the face of Belyar's inexorable wrath? Once his wrath is awakened, it is too late. With your prayers fade away unheeded. Now, if I remember correctly, I only have to fight in the arena versus uh, um, Kotengar 
if I remember correctly, I could be wrong. Nerasul has been dealt with. Then he was behind the ore theft. Yes. He wanted to set himself up as a ruler. What a megalomaniacal fool! Suben has the power of Beliar. He is the chosen one. He can never be replaced! Ah! Now it dawns on me. Now I see clearly. He fell victim to Beliar's power. Beliar must have spoken to him. But not to set him on the throne in Ishtar. Rather to call him to Beliar. Yes. Beliar is great and his power is destruction. And those who are not steadfast, he calls them to their end. <laughs> Here, this is for you. Now let's face Scott Angard and the desert has been cleared when it comes to arena. I want to challenge the champion. I knew you would not settle for just a piece of the pie. You want it all. <laughs> hmm. Citizens of Morasul, it is with great pleasure I give you the upcoming fight. The current undefeated arena champion of Morasul, Anga! Versus the current honorable challenger, the Stranger! I could have told you that. Then show me what you've got. Will you? Show them who's boss. How did I measure up? Man, you've still got it, haven't you? Congratulations. You are now the new champion of Morasul. Maybe it's time I retired after all. Hey, hey. Great fight. You are truly a worthy champion. Now what? You have beaten the champion. Nobody will challenge you for a while, I'm afraid. But I put my gold on you. You earn me a tidy sum. Where's my prize? Here. This noble blade is now yours. Now, since I cannot gift it to uh, Gonzalez anymore, I'm gonna gift it to, to the smith. In return for uh, a bit of a reward. I'm not quite sure what it gives. I will bring you the Moonblade. Thank you, son of dependability. Here is the reward I promised you. Alright, so let's go to Cape Dunn. Now this arena I hate the most due to the fact that it's such a small area. It 
it's a really close tight area. Hey folks, there's a fight. That's the way. Get on with it. That's the way. Get on with it. Die. Well done. Uh, no one get put away your weapon, Mora. Yes. Go away, Mora. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 hey, I beat the crap out of him. Sorry, brothers, but uh, I'm not done here, so I cannot help you killing the orcs. Such a shame though. Could have used the alchemist maybe. to fight in the arena what can i win in the arena the arena champion receives a sword losers get nothing at all i want to fight in the arena fine i will send you an easy opponent first if you manage to defeat him we can talk again what do i do Show me what you've got. Hey, folks! There's a fight! You... You hit me! Just you... See how easy you get knocked out of that freaking small arena? That's why I hate it the most, you know. The one in Bakadesh is the most difficult one when it comes to the fights itself, the Templar fighters. But uh, w when it comes to annoyances, when it, you know, in area arena sizes, this one is number one, hands down. There's no barriers. There's no nothing. You won, but this was an easy opponent, so don't get too cocky now. I can send you a good opponent if you want. Give me an opponent. You want to fight? You can fight. You are going to face my best fighter. Enter the arena! Come here, boy. Hey, folks, there's a fight. I won. Yes, you fought well. Nobody else wants to go up against you. You are the champion. Do I get a prize? Yes. This sword. Wear it with pride, for oh, it is a good blade. Head. Well fought, stranger. Do you really think? Hey, you devil. You're damn good. You'll go far among the gladiators. Much respect. Well, I get re... Uh, XP after talking with the guys from the previous fights like uh, Angar the temple fighters let me check Right, you did 
them, okay. Let's just see, check up uh, Bangladesh. Pretty sure, you know, I'd already talked with them. Maybe, uh, one out of three that I didn't talk to, but, uh, we'll see. Because I'm quite close to leveling up, and if I can level up, I can learn Thunder, which will, uh, make my, uh, arena fights a bit more easier. Teach me, please. Of course. We can start whenever you're ready. One second, I uh, spilled a drink. Fortunately, not much, but uh. Alright, so K done is done. Um Reddick. He shall reward us for we are his people. One second, guys. Alright, Max, sorry about that. But, you know, my drink uh, was fortunately that I spilled nearly empty. Nearly. Not quite, but nearly. So I had to get myself a new one. Meet me in the arena. All right, so let's see what you've got. Come here. Would you fight me in the arena? Why not? A little more training can't hurt. Fight with me in the arena. All right. But don't forget that this is only a sparring match. We'll meet in the arena. Now we'll see. <laughs> 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 won the fight. Good job. You've got what it takes. If you need a comrade in arms to fight by your side, I'm your man. You want to fight at my side? You show a lot of promise. All you need is a little more experience. I will go wherever you go it's always and fight whoever guy. you fight. Once you no longer need me, just send me back. Well fought. You just knocked me off my feet. Here, have this healing potion. It'll help with your wounds. Alright, so let's talk with Joey and then we're done here as well. Already did that apparently. 
Um, next city. <coughs> Let's learn thunder. Grant me the highest knowledge of the ancient magic. One more level and I can learn the final capability, which is night to day. But I do... I do am a bit afraid of them. The damage will be a bit too much. I'm also curious, is it? That will do anything. It needs a target, okay. But anyways guys, I want to thank you guys for the watching. If you like what you see, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button if you want to see a gothic series hardcore run. And I hope to see you guys in part two where we're gonna continue fighting in all the arenas getting everything set up before well basically what I'm doing is I'm fighting in the arenas get access to the areas which I did not had access to or before I do that by the way let me double check Cape done but uh, I would let me quickly do those but I will basically um, <coughs> Well, what I basically am doing is, you know, doing the arenas, getting access to the areas which I did not have access towards to yet. Get those done, get all the quests that I can get done, done, and then start the liberation. Because uh, we are nearly at the end, guys. I'm quite close. We're not as close yet when it comes to full build. I still need to get this one, even though it's optional, I would just get it. I still need this one. I still need this one. I still need these. You know, all of these. This one I have through my armor, so I don't really need it, but I will still get it if possible. But these I do need. Oxley I cannot get because of the fact I need large weapons for that. I'm not gonna do that. So this tree is basically done, except for regeneration. Which I can get, but will require me about 30 learning points, which is 3 levels. Thieving has to be maxed out in everything, and uh... One more spell to go when it comes to... To Beliar Shrine, and then we're done. But we still got here and there a bit of things to do. Why? Oh right, the alchemist chest and oh yes, the rebel on the ground. Where's the bugger? But on his journey, he found the staff of the Eternal Wanderer, and he took it with him. And Beliar said to him, Now, proceed to the country of the Nomads, and establish a realm for me. Still haven't found a uh, un rebel. Oh, wait. 
I know where he is. Impossible. Stop doing magic. Ah, stop that. Ah, no. Stop right there. No. 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 You should. We don't need any troublemakers here. Let me also check if I already talked with the uh, paladin guy. I'm pretty sure that I did, but it can never be uncertain. Because I will use his help to uh, liberate this area. Stop! Not one step further. Let me pass. You can go in. You bet your ass that I can. Not again. Please. Uh, you aren't an orc. How did you get in here? Who are you? My name is Wenzel. I am a paladin and come from Monterra. I fought against the orcs there. What happened in Monterra? One morning, shortly before dawn, the orcs surrounded the city, and that was that. Almost half of us were killed. All the rest were enslaved. I rescued your chalice. Well done. I am proud of you. The chalice must be taken to the fire mages. It is a fire chalice. Very rare and extremely valuable. Alas, I don't know anything else about the thing. Why are you a prisoner and not a slave? One of their slave hunters dragged me here and sold me to the orcs. Since then, the orcs have come every day and interrogated me. They want me to betray the location of the rebel camp Reddick. What do you know about Reddick? Reddick is the only refuge for us rebels here on the coast. I would sooner die than tell anyone where my brothers are hiding. Where can I find rebels besides in Reddick? They are everywhere. Throughout the land, there are groups opposing the orcs. They hide in the woods, in caves, or in the cliffs. The orcs will never find them all. We will only rest when our kingdom is once again free. Oh shit. I shouldn't have uh, killed him. The rebel underground or what, whatever. Should first talk to the paladin and then to the rebel underground and then you can kill him. Do I have to really do much? Because if that is the case then I prefer... Nah, fuck it. Mistakes are made, who cares? <laughs> and I'm not really in the mood to redo it. The underground rebellion in the city is destroyed. Ha! I knew those good for nothing mercenaries were useless. Nothing happens for weeks. Then you show up and solve the problem. Good work. The shamans will be pleased with you. What about me? Go to the warehouse keeper, Ukras. He will give you a reward. But nevertheless guys, thank you guys for watching, if you like what you see, once again, subscribe to my channel, if you want to be notified, hit the notification bell, and uh, smash the like button. I'm supposed to get a reward here. You wiped out for the a... rebel underground here in the city. That's good. Here, you earned this. And a few healing potions as well. And I'll see you guys in the next part of this episode where we're gonna continue the search. Well, continue the fighting in the arena, getting everything ready and set up when it comes to doing the quests. So that we can start the liberation and the cleansing in the name of Baliar. So thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys next time.